Aprilia Tuono 660 Factory, 2022 on, review. Thrilling to ride at road speeds. The Aprilia Tuono 660 Factory takes what you think you know about sports nakeds, crumples it up, and throws it in the general waste. At a smidge off 99 brake horsepower it's no super naked powerhouse and its chassis and electronics hardly reinvent the wheel. However, tipping the scales at a claimed 181 kg wet and suspended by quality fully adjustable KYB forks and a Saks monoshock, it slices from one corner to the next like scissors through wrapping paper. It won't rip your arms off like its V4 to 1 older siblings, but it's playful and predictable, making it a thoroughly enjoyable road bike from the off. Anyone that thinks you need a billion horses and the latest semi-active doodads to have a brilliant time on the road needs to ride a 660 factory. Ride quality and brakes. Out go the standard to one 660's rebound and preload adjustable suspension components and in comes a pair of fully adjustable 41mm KYB forks and a Saks rear shock. Not only more adjustable than the base bike, the new kit works brilliantly with the Pirelli Diablo Rosso Corsa 2 tires, providing a composed ride that allows you to fully exploit its twin-cylinder engine without tying yourself in knots. Engine The factory gets a claimed extra 4.9 brake horsepower, taking it a step closer to rivals like the 9,400-pound Yamaha MT-09 and taking it out of the realms of A2 license compliance. Much like the weight saving, it's difficult to say just how much effect the boost has had, but in isolation it shines as a tractable unit that encourages you to chase the revs far into the red. It really is a cracking motor that remains engaging well past the honeymoon stage, something I can vouch for after spending 2021 with an RS660 in the garage, which shares the same base unit. Reliability and build quality. Being a new bike, it's hard to predict quite how the Aprilia Tuono 660 factory will fare long term. However, having lived with an RS660 for a year, I am confident in saying it will stand the test of time. After all, the factory shares much of the same components as the RS, and all I had to do all year with that was adjust the chain twice. That said, it did suffer with thin paint around the matte petrol tank, the Tuono was gloss, and sprang a tiny oil weep at around 6,000 miles that was easily rectified back at Aprilia HQ. Value versus Rivals the Aprilia Tuono 660 factory is brilliant fun to ride, but 10,000 pounds is an awful lot of money for a twin-cylinder naked producing less than 100 brake horsepower. Two grand less and it would get five stars from me for value, but at that price it becomes a rival to the Yamaha MT-09 and KTM 890 Duke which both produce over 10 brake horsepower more. Equipment Unlike the sporty RS660, the electronics on the standard Tuono 660 are not lean-sensitive out the box and the quickshifter and auto blipper are an optional extra. And, while the base machine can be upgraded with an IMU for said lean sensitivity, the factory gets all of these goodies as standard. That means multi-map cornering ABS, anti-wheelie, traction control, it goes on. You also get cruise control, front LED cornering lights and five customizable riding modes.